Hi there, um, this video comes with some exercise files and a cheat sheet for Photoshop. Uh, there'll be a link in the description for those. Okay, it's part of my larger course, which you can go and check out. There'll be a link there as well. Um, all right, enjoy the video. Hey there, welcome to this video. I'm gonna show you how to do this, where we just kind of paint in an image so we can do a kind of a cool before and after. It's pretty simple with a layer mask and a brush. Let's jump in now to find out how. All right, so let's open our two images that we're going to be blending. Let's go to File Open, and in your Exercise Files, go to 05 Selections and Masking. And we're gonna open up these two, Layer Mask 1 and 2. It's a before and after renovation. Okay, so first of all, let's be on 02, the finished version. Let's grab the Move tool, click, hold, drag, 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 up to this tab, wait, 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 drag it down, and line it up. Okay, let's be all serious about this and name the layers. I've double clicked the word layer one and let's call this one new. Double click the background and call it old. Let's have the new layer selected. Now for this blend, we're using a layer mask, but what we've done in the past is we've used something like the selection tool. Okay, the rectangle marquee tool to make a selection or the quick mask selection or the quick selection tool. We made a selection first and then clicked on this button here. Okay, and that's not always necessary, especially in this case. Let's go to File, Deselect. So you don't have to have anything selected. I'm back on my Move tool. Okay, and all I'm gonna do is make sure the new layer is selected and just click on this without a selection and nothing happens. Except we've got this new layer mask here. And because it's all white, it does nothing. We need some black bits in it to start masking. Let's have a look at one of the previous examples we've got. This is the project from the last video. Okay, you can see the black bits hide the background. Okay, the white bits show it through. Let's not worry too much about that, but let's get back into here. So we need to do two things. We need to make sure we're on the mask. You can be on the actual image or the mask. I wanna work on the mask. I'm gonna grab my brush tool. It's this guy here. Okay, click on it. He is that many down. <laughs> okay, with it selected, I pick a brush size. We're gonna use something quite big in this case. Okay, so I've got mine up to about 400-ish. And in this drop down here, I've got the hardness down to zero. Now the two main important things for this is we've got our mask selected and down here we've got black as our foreground color. You can see at the moment mine is white. So to switch these two around, you can click on this double arrow. If yours are kind of like shades of gray and it's not completely black, click on this little option. That just kind of like resets it to full white, full black, and then click the little arrow. Just means my foreground color is black. Okay, because we've got white, if we paint it with black, we know things that are black on the mask get hidden. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start down the bottom here, click hold and start painting. Cool, huh? Okay, so it's this kind of a before and after remote. You saw the intro. How much do I wanna go? I always kind of like, I'm oh, like, okay, yeah, that looks kind of good. And then I go too far and then it's looking a bit weird. Okay, the big thing to note is, can you see down here, the black that I've painted on this mask is hiding this current layer. The white bits are still showing through. So if I want to show things through again, I just switch white as my foreground and watch watch this and watch where I'm painting. Can you see if I paint on that, it starts bringing things back through. And it's just a really easy way to kind of decide on what you want through and what you don't. I kind of like that. I might switch to black again and just paint out that bit there. So that's a really easy way to blend two images together. Make sure they're on top of each other. The top one, add a layer mask with no selection, and then just paint on it with black. If you need to bring stuff back, paint on it with white. Now I hope it's not too nerdy for you this earlier in the course, okay? But it's a really handy thing just to blend images. And one thing that might catch you out though is you can see this kind of like white box around the mask. Now it's on the image, now it's on the mask, now it's on the image. So when I'm working on my layer mask, it's gonna work perfectly. But when you say save this document and reopen it up, it's probably gonna be back over here on the layer. Now if I'm on my layer and I use my brush tool and I make sure it's on black, okay, guess, well, this is gonna happen. <laughs> okay, you're like, oh, I'm painting out, painting out. Huh, I'm just gonna switch it back, paint it with white. You're just, you can see my little layer there, you've actually just painted black and white on top of it. And you really need to hope you've got an edit step backwards. Edit, step backwards, edit, step backwards. Maybe one too many, step forwards. All right, that is how to blend images, one across the other. Let's get into the next video. 
Hi, it's me again. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, a thumbs up really helps me and what I'm doing. Um, also consider subscribing to my YouTube channel because I release a video like this every week. Um, also know that this is part of my larger course. Okay, so this is like a free part of it. There's a larger course called Photoshop Essentials. So you could go check that out. There's a link in the description for that full course. Also know that there's exercise files. Those are free to download. Go go check that out, link in the description. Another link in the description will be the cheat sheet. So I make it like a PDF uh, cheat sheet for Photoshop with all the tips and tricks you can print off and stick next to your computer and be more awesome. Link in the description. <laughs> yeah, all right, that's enough. Uh, hi, Dada.